How's it going, my species of woomies and females alike? My name is Nathan Y6, and welcome to a bit of a different video. Uh, this is live commentary, of course, but <laughs> Happy New Year's! I know it's going up like on New Year's Day and whatnot, but I just figured I'd record this ahead of time and whatnot. This was recorded in Eastern Standard Time, so of course, it's still, I don't know. <laughs> Expect me to say random stuff because, truth be told, I am not feeling the greatest. I mean, I'm feeling better now than I have been yesterday, but whoo! Anyways, I figured I'd do a little bit of something simple. I sip. I, I can't talk. I figured I'd give you all a little tour of my island called Emerald. Also, if I can remember, I should have the uh, the uh, stream suite address uh, updated. So, if you guys want to visit this place in the dreams, here's the code for that. Looks like Shari's performing the clay, and he's just not even appreciating it. <laughs> I don't know, it's just silly. I love this game, man. There isn't that much to do, but I love just roaming around, like, little areas. It's too late for me to shop. I forgot to do that earlier. But, uh, yeah, I have, like, multiple saves, like, Eliora, Lily's way down there, a female me or something. <laughs> I know that seems weird, have one guy having multiple saves, but, eh, you know, it, it's something. So I'm hoping your guys' holiday was something special, you know? It's not every day that you get to spend time with family nowadays, especially with the whole mm-hmm that's going on. You know? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. 2021 was a decently rough year for me. Like, for me, 2019 will always be my worst year because of the whole thing that happened with, like, the first surgery and, like, an infection and whatnot. I felt terrible that entire year. But this year, it's still been rough on me. Like, I, I uh, had to cut ties with a, a friend that I will not mention here. She knows who she is. Um, then, like maybe like a few months after that, I, I lost my sister. It's been rough all around, you know? But I try not to let it get to me, you know? Let's just start this year off with a bang. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being stupid. Let me introduce you to my villagers. Here's Shari. I forgot to speak to most of my villagers before doing this. <laughs> Here's Clay. I've been neglecting playing this game. I've mostly been doing it on my alternate saves. Cheesy Pete, Emerald's overflowing with flowers. It was the same in my freaking New Leaf town because holy frick. Oh, I guess, I guess Whitney's home. You guys probably remember seeing Whitney uh, on like one of my previous streams where I just went weed. Oh man, there's been a failed mount to do ever since the uh, November, uh, two point something date. I forget what it was. Eh? Yes, Ari. She's a fairly popular, uh, wolf, ox. I don't know what the frick she is. I'm just making things awkward by just not saying what's in my. <laughs> But that's the truth, man. There really isn't much to say here about my island. It's just a basic little island that I've decorated the best I could. And honestly, I'm really proud of it. I, I've heard rumors that people would want to freaking completely reset the saves just so they can get a brand new island for the update. Honestly, though, that's not me. I'd rather just keep my old island with the new uh, stuff to do than rather just go through all that again, because when you first start this game, there's hardly anything you can do! Right, where's my other villagers? Where's his home, essentially? Keep checking back my freaking. I'm hoping this doesn't have any freaking visual bugs, because sometimes when I do a screenshot thing, I notice that it will bug out a little bit.
probably record this way too early. It's like 10:19 over here. Where the fuck is everybody? Oh, right, the uh, little shopping center here. New Leaf was my very first Animal Crossing game, and the fact that there's like a separate area for each of the shopping areas was always something I've liked and something I missed going into this game. So I figured, why not make the other levels of uh, the island more of like the shopping district and have the third level be for like the, uh, the, uh, mm hmm, museum. Dum -dum. Maybe there'll be some uh, villages here in the museum. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe there is. I don't know. Gotta be careful going into freaking Nugget exhibit because the art there is quite uh, tasteful, to say the least. I'm gonna say, I love the freaking museum in this game. Like, the museum was fine in New Leaf, but they've improved massively with the uh, design of the museum in uh, New Horizons. My favorite room in the freaking bug is simply being this freaking room because, oh my god, the amount of but okay, no, they're not, not all the butterflies seem to be flying. But it's just, the butterfly room is probably my favorite room of all time in the museum. It's just, it's so pretty. I also kind of sort of like this room, but it's kind of generic. There's that scary piece of frick alongside the other scary piece of frick. Doesn't look like anyone's up here. So I have to look through the fossil and the fish exhibit. The uh, bug exhibit is probably the only one I have. Well, other than the fossil exhibit. I still need to complete the uh, fish, diving creatures, and the art. Which I've been incredibly slow on. Can I tell you guys a little story that's kind of annoying? On uh, Christmas, I got a freaking pack of uh, three amiibo from the recent pack that they released. And out of all of them, I did not get freaking Sasha. You wanna know who did get Sasha though? Cow! The lucky piece of frick! I mean, I love the guy. He's a lovable, he's a lovable little frick, but he, of course he had to be the lucky one. One thing I ironically love doing is just going to his last bit to here and just standing here. I feel like if Nintendo ever actually adds achievements to the uh, Switch, that would be one of them. Only know this one time I I did like a recording session with friends that isn't really gonna be a video, but I still have the recording. But it's like I I dressed up as a reindeer. Hang on, I still have it on my saw one thing here. I dressed up as this and just hide around the museum. And on one I hidden some pretty clever spots. I'm not gonna publicly release the video like as a funny moments thing, but I'll show some clips here. Oh wait, I need to remove some freaking But yeah, of course, Cal had to be the lucky thing to get probably my favorite new filter that they've added into this game through the update. Like, seriously, Saucer is a door, but I don't even care about that guy. The beginning bit of the fist exhibit is interesting to say the least. Like, I'm not a big fan of the colors, but this next room here is something special. Also, for some reason, some of those anchovies take forever to load. Like, seriously, the colors here, it's just... Holy crap, I didn't realize how many fish were in this tank! Shouldn't the whale shark be, like, three times bigger than that, though? I know whale sharks are huge. Like, I'm pretty sure it should be way bigger than a freaking normal shark. Viva la me! That's a quote I'll never forget in New Leaf, just when you catch a Napoleon fish, just Viva la me! I always thought this freaking crab's uh, animation was kind of buggy, but no, it's supposed to be like that. I always thought like one uh, claw, one, that's not even the claw, that's one of the legs, isn't it? I always thought those things were disappearing, it's like <laughs> No one was in the art exhibit, also I noticed the fact that the, with these freaking shoes, the freaking Stomping on wood sound was super annoying! No one seems to be in the roost. Let's get our daily coffee. I, I guess it's not really that like daily with my main save. Oh. 
Here you go. One first brew pot and hot coffee, cup of coffee. Enjoy. I'll do just that. I'm going to say, sometimes I'm... I'm being in the Animal Crossing fandom can have its troubles. Because there were a lot of people just been Where's Brewster? And on Nintendo of America's freaking Twitter thing. Just be freaking patient. Stuff like this takes time. Another thing, don't go down people's throats just because something is taking a while. Things take time. Be more patient! Things will be better if you wait for them, your pieces are fri- I don't even know what the frick I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be bombarded with dislike because of that. Because I didn't realize the fact that Cherry was home. Thing that I probably passed by her house like five billion times. I freaking love Cherry, man. Like, she was one of my starting villagers in uh, New Leaf, and I've always loved her. She's just so adorable! What's Kefinch? What's Kefish? I'll have to look that up. Oh, it's a type of seafood! I wouldn't think that would be good, Cherry, especially if you're doing, like, a sweets thing. Anyways, even though I didn't show you all of my uh, villages of Emerald, I think I am going to at the very least. Oh, cops at home. Okay, let me show him to you guys. This is probably going to be the most boring New Year's video ever. <laughs> So I'm going to be honest with you. Shardy and Cobb were both my starting villages in this game. And I actually had them at one point in freaking New Leaf. Which is kind of interesting. I kind of got some of my other villages I've had in uh, New Leaf through like other means. Like Bob was a uh, incidental camper villager. Kiki was through an amiibo card and same with Cherry. At one point, I had Hamfrey as well. But yeah, I think for now, that's enough of the Isle of Emerald, as I call it. Now it's time I show you guys the workplace. Dolomon, this is Dota. Where would you copy? Go walk with these wings. Over. Roger. Name when you are. I have noticed that sometimes when I talk fast, sometimes there'll be like, like a mumble of words, but otherwise, uh, uh, <laughs> that's a good example. Sometimes there'll be a mumble of words, but other times it'll be perfect. I think it all depends on if you're reading it or if it's just off the top of your head. Oh no! <laughs> I also have this guy's amiibo card! It's always awkward when you have like a specific village's uh, amiibo card. Oh hey! <laughs> Here's one of my actual villages. He's also room. <laughs> In a room with the okay, there's a there's a story behind why I have Kiki and Bob in the, being uh, roommates. I actually ship them. <laughs> I also have Cherry. <laughs> I think the only- th I think I only have like the three villages from my actual island being here. Kiki, Bob, and Cherry. <laughs> Otherwise, that's about it. Anyways, I'm only gonna do some uh, jobs until it's like... Time for like the New Year's thing, and I even have like a reminder on my phone. 
Oh, I got the kiosk! Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think I reached the point where I get this. 100 pokey equals 243 bells. Wonder what the limit is. Okay, that's decently fair. I'll take that. I don't think I really need all these pokies, so. <laughs> oh god, that's what I already know. <laughs> Let's uh, stop wasting time. Let's uh, get to work. You know what? I don't think I've ever used the Amiibo card scanner for uh, Happy Home Paradise, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Animal Crossing Amiibo card book. Time to pick one out. Renee. Interesting how I got her, but not freaking Sasha. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. <laughs> Fancy party house. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Next up is the location of the uh, little island. Let's kind of figure this out here. This seems relatively fancy, but let's see what else I can find. Oh, now this looks fancy. Hmm. Fancy people have multiple floors, so why not? I don't know why I'm saying that in this kind of accent. Yeah! Let's do it! Holy crap, there are a lot of glove plants up there. Whoa, hello. in the car to being right there. Hmm. Get out of the way, Nico. Let's kind of have this be a ramp, but let's be let it be something strong. Yeah, I think that's where ramp might be strong enough. Let's see what I'm working with here. Means people always have a pool. Sometimes they have a swimming pool in a swimming pool. Hmm. 
I always like having one table and a couple chairs outside for the sake of, like, nice little feuding area. Outside of the house. Little casual area. Little can of bear. Little can of... I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> God dang it, Rires. I'm thinking for Renee, she could use a white roof, a gray panel siding, with a purple door. No, that doesn't look right. Ah, there we go. Look for us, please. Here we go. Look, customized station. Yeah, there is. Hmm. The gray looks interesting. Let's keep it white. What are my options for cars? Void, Liberty, Alabaster, Passion, Ocean, Grove. Well, oh my god! That is so tacky! Let's just have it be void. I think this handles the outside, now let's go on in! Expand this farm room here a little bit. Hmm. Move out of the way, you piece of. Put that there. Can I put anything in it? Oh, you can. Interesting. I was thought that's a teriyaki. This looks decently fancy. You off the side. You over here. So wait, what wall and uh, wrong one? What wall and flooring are you dealing with? Hmm. Really for the main room, black European style wall and a black iron parquet floor. Fancy. Nice little record player. Let's see what ambiances we have. Hmm. Have the atmosphere be a nice dark blue. Very nice. Nah. Go. This may not be the most exciting video out there, but I'm trying my best, okay? Now, oh, what? There's no candle? I'll have to fix that. Go. What else is going on here?
not my best work on the lower floor, but we'll see what we can do in the upper. Okay, in terms of an upper floor, I think... Let me see. Hmm... Yeah, this will do decently. I'll see about the room size in a bit, but let's see about the elegant bed. Sofa frame. With a the mass curse pattern red, I suppose. I'd be smacked up in the middle here. Excuse me, go to the frickin' wall. We have some sort of like a little table here with a nice little radio. Yeah, it looks a bit better. Hmm. Oh, Jeebus. I, I freaking heard that one creepy freaking albacross in song. <laughs> Sends me the sh shivers. <laughs> it's not in here. Well, screw you. Have a standard switch then. Ooh, that sofa seems a bit too close. There we go. It's kind of. Spend the width here. There we go. That looks. No! At this point, I almost feel like I'm just playing the game for myself. So maybe after this, I'll like. Get ahead to when New Year's Day, and uh, not New Year's Day, New Year's uh, is on the rise. Oh no, I forgot to go down! Ah! Oh, you own Pokey for every job you do. And I think I'm gonna be finished for it tonight because I. I'm not up for doing this for another whole freaking hour. <laughs> Let's see what I got here. Ooh, display case. Ooh, uh, uh, I've got enough, see? <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to stop the recording here for right now, and uh, I'll see you guys when it's the final countdown. Whee! Decided to cut it down to 25 minutes before the uh, New Year's. 
Hey, Bob. Tonight's the New Year countdown in the plaza. I can't wait to say hi to the New Year with everybody. New Year's is always something else, isn't it? A new start for everyone in some way. More so than everyone else. But yeah, it's always so good to see everyone ready for like a new year. Whether or not the PVC year was good or bad. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Despite everything that's happened throughout this entire year. I'm glad to be able to spend this last moment with you. Even if it is like a few hours late for some people. Like it could be a day late for some Australia. I have to fairly hope that this year was decent for you guys. Despite everything, we all made it through another year in one piece. We all may have lost some people, like John Madden and Betty White, and for me, it was my sister. But, for the sake of everyone, I managed to tough it out. While we wait for this countdown to go down, I have a little surprise for you guys. Pretty cool, right? A friend of mine showed me this uh, type of software that lets you use a PNG tuber thing. I mean, I'm not going to use it all the time, but it's still a cool piece of software, right? I can use it like a little hotkeys the way I can like... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually really cool. I wonder if I can set a filter on it to make it... There we go, now it's a bit more fit into the atmosphere. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. These past two years with you... I've actually been some of the greater. Yeah, I may have gone through some rough times like I keep on saying. But sometimes, we must go through the rough times in order to have the even greater. Ever since I got back into recording these playthroughs for you guys since Sonic Forces and Life is Strange, I've always been excited to see what you guys think, whether or not I'd get like 100 views or just 50. And honestly, to me, views don't matter. It's just making someone happy with one of my videos. It's enough for me. My channel is non-profit. I don't plan on making any money on this channel anytime soon. Yeah, there might be a time where I make an alternate channel, but that might not come anytime soon. Throughout every hard times I've went through within 2019, 2020, and 2021, there have certainly been a lot. What with one guy uh, spamming at me, both in Discord and YouTube, my YouTube account being hacked early in 2020, and my sister being lost this year. It's been rough. But there have been more good times than the word bad. In 2019, my little niece Kaya was born. In 2020, I finally got confident enough to start making more of these playthrough videos for you guys. And this year, well, the quality of these videos has massively improved. I've gone through a lot of good times with you guys. Both in Life is Strange, Sonic Forces, Splatoon, just everything, man. Even if I come to another sudden stop with these playthrough videos, I hope you guys are still happy with the stuff I make for you. Even like simple one image deeper voice videos to have others artworks or stuff I put in a lot of work in. I'm glad to know you guys enjoy this stuff. And that's all I'm here for. I've made a lot of friends within these past few years. Ruri, Steph, Cal. They all mean a lot to me. And though I may not talk to them as much anymore, the original friends I made at the start of my YouTube career, Tommy Air 64, RC Merle, now known as Frick. Frick, what's his name? Poetic Thrill, that's what it is. And Aiden Rock Luxury, who goes by a different name now and doesn't upload sports remixes anymore. I'm glad they helped me get my start within the journey. Because it was rough. Speaking of my career, my 12th year anniversary is coming up. It's a shame I don't have anything special coming up for it. I didn't think to plan ahead of time. But I'm sure something special will go up nonetheless. I will tell you about some playthroughs that I've been planning, by the way. 
but not too much in detail like when and whatnot. I'm planning on doing another Sonic game at one point, don't know if it's gonna be soon or not. I may do another game we've done in the past. Hint, hint, shush, shush. There will definitely be more funny uh, moments videos. I just gotta get the right amount of content. And I may even do like a little series where I do like a little blind playthrough of certain games with like some of my friends. Kind of like how I did with uh, Dark Deception, Boys in the Dark Survival a little bit. But for now, that's all it's just in the planning list for now. On the bucket list. <laughs> oh, another important thing that happened last year. I got a drawing tablet, so I've been able to draw some more of the stuff. I may have had rocky stuff before I drew before, but I'm slowly getting better and hopefully I'm able to draw more stuff, like maybe some stuff for the before his videos in the future. I've been rambling for too much, so let's skip forward to when it's close to the new year. See you guys then. It is getting crowded in here. <laughs> All right, almost time for New Year on my end. So let's celebrate by talking to everyone one last time. Tonight's the countdown. It's the party of the year, so let's go all out. All's well that ends well, as they say. I don't want to end 2021 with any regrets, so I'm partying all night. It's finally New Year's Eve. So excited, I can't sit still. <laughs> Only a little bit of time left in 2021. I'm gonna get ready for a whole new year with the tasty snacks. <laughs> you do you, Bob. <laughs> Woo! Last day of the year! You guys, you all set for the countdown tonight? I am pumped for chop! <laughs> and I the ca Okay, she's just saying the same thing as already. She's just saying anything else that. No, I didn't want them to Bob! Did you notice the feel air feels different on New Year's Eve? I bet it's the last of the new, new year's air getting used up. <laughs> you look like you're ready with your hat on and all, Ethan. Bringing the new year in style gives me so excited. Okay. Mmm. Can't you just feel the tension in the air? A whole new year is about to begin. I can't wait to forget what year it is for a whole month, hunk. That's not everyone. Bruce and Whitney are still inside. Frick. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bruce, you look so tacky. Well, the year's just about over. Just one more big event to get fired up for. The countdown. I've seen this all happen for a million times before. But for some reason, I still get goosebumps every time. I know. You never know if you're going to make it to the next day. Pretty sure some people actually pass away within this time frame. Not to get a little dark, but I'm pretty sure it has happened before. Golden roses. Nope, Mindy, get back here. I've always imagined Whitney having like Rarity's voice. So I love her bed. It's so cool. Can't wait to get the freaking recipe for the rose bed. Just the black rose and everything just looks so cool. I'm pretty sure Clay's not out either. No, he's not Clay. What are you doing this in the random bed for? Get up and at him, short stack! <laughs> oh my god, we're wearing the same thing. Except for that, but still. That's funny. I do believe that's everything I can do around here. <laughs> As we ring in the new year, I hope you guys have a good one. When well, something happens, I hope you can go through it with happy smiles and good cheer. Because Lord knows this world could use some more of it. That's kind of what my main reason for making these videos are. In this cruel dark world, I just want to make people happy, you know? Because everyone always has a rough day. 
just a minute left for the New Year's. I think I'm going to end the commentary off for this one, right guys? So, if you like this one, please give me helps. And next time in this brand new year, I hope we have some good moments to come. So stay fresh, and stay safe.